the idea behind this workshop essentially is to help the students draw on their learning and be able to interact with industry experts and think about areas of cyber security. They've got two days to work on an evolving cyber security threat to make presentations in terms of how an organization could improve its cyber security. And towards the end of the second day, they have to make presentations and ask for funding. Students have to work in groups and be able to present solutions to industry experts. Some of the questions we've had, both in the uh, the icebreaker, but as the days have gone on, as have just shown how much involvement they've got into it. Hearing people who are not in the industry talk about security and what their thoughts are, it actually makes me step back and think a little bit differently as well. It's actually quite good to see how they the students interact, how they interact with us, and I think it's just good for us to see future talent development. So one of the bits that really surprised me, and I'm delighted to see, there's a much better mix between male and female people coming through the industry, and it's been great for me to work with not only uh, the, the multinational students on the course, but also um, all the new graduates from Fujitsu. It's been really interesting to see, going around the groups, going around the students, interesting how they have taken the challenge in a different way, right? Each group has come up with their own suggestions, their own uh, story to tell during the presentation. And I think it's been quite interesting seeing those different ideas develop over the, the, the two days. Someone that also doesn't come from a cyber security background, I think it's really important that students get that sort of exposure to the cyber security industry and also the aviation industry, particularly if that's the sort of sector that they want to go in for their careers. So, Doing this hackathon, I think, will create that sense of sort of confidence within the students. Like, yes, I do have those skills that are needed to become a consultant or, you know, work in aviation. I think it's a really unique opportunity to be able to apply sort of theoretical knowledge in a practical setting. And secondly, the opportunity to network with professionals in the industry, uh, to ask them questions, and the people that we've actually brought in all have different roles. So you're able to kind of explore the different opportunities for the actual job within the industry. This is such a great experience for myself and my colleagues. The enthusiasm from the students has been um, the passion, the passion, the desire to want to learn as well. The way that they've worded them and bounced ideas off each other and build it around the room as well. You can literally see the imagination sparking. One thing I got, which I haven't been able to get before, was real hands-on experience working in a consulting type situation. I've never had that type of experience prior the hackathon and so getting the opportunity to do that was definitely a huge learning opportunity for me and that's something I really enjoyed. It really helps me uh, with gaining the experience with knowledge, knowledge with the experts as a Fujitsu and Hetero. So this experience was valuable for me during this two-day hackathon. It prepares us for the future jobs and to learn about how the current industry is working on the consultation project and the cybersecurity. We were not with academic people, we were with professional people who have been working in this space for two or more decades. So it was like we were listening to their perspective, their back, like how they have been doing it. So that was a very fresh thing for us. Plus, uh, we were able to ask a lot of informal questions as well, like how they got the job, how what made them stay in the job for that long. So I feel like that was very important for us.